Hey everyone, Danny here from Surfer, and I'm back, and I'm happy you're here too. So in this lesson, I'm going to share a tool with you that hopefully makes your life and your content creation process a lot easier. Are you ready? So I briefly mentioned before that Surfer has a tool which can assist you in the post-publishing stage. Just in case you've forgotten, let's say it together. The work is not done once you've hit publish. This is where Surfer's audit tool enters the chat. Go to the audit section. Then you create an analysis by typing in your main keyword and choosing if you want to see results for mobile or desktop SERP. Don't forget that as of March 2021, Google is mobile first indexed. From there, you analyze the internal link suggestions. Add or remove keywords from the terms to use section and fix any other errors you may find. If you notice that some terms are different from what you've seen in the content editor, don't worry, it happens. In audit, we test out your content in a real life environment to see where you fall short and can make any improvements. The main difference between the content editor and audit is that in the content editor, we're mostly focused on the contents of the article or the post. On the other hand, in audit, we zoom out and also analyze the navigation bar, the footer, menus, and the comments, which is why the data can vary and it might affect your final score. Using Surfer's audit tool, you'll be able to check internal link suggestions, find partial and exact keywords, check out headings and subheadings, look at common words and phrases with their density and page frequency, and you'll be able to share the audit with your team or clients without them having to log in. So here's how our team of experts recommends going about auditing your content in terms of priority. First, check any internal links that you should add. We recommend using five to 10 internal links, but obviously the more the merrier. Then we take a look at the terms to use. The default setting will give you an idea as to what's happening, but if you click the action button, you'll see any missing entities. It's ordered according to relevance. Adding 10 to 20 is a great starting point for optimization. Now we do an overview of length, exact keywords, partial keywords, page structure, you know, things like that. Keep in mind that for the title and meta description, it's classifying it based on length, not contents. Lastly, you'll see page speed. Now you can click on the Select Competitors button. Surfer will organize your top five organic competitors based on their content score. Don't forget that if for some reason they have a different user intent, you don't need to factor them in. I've used this tool a lot myself, and as a content writer and content creator, I really do feel like it saves me hours of guesswork. And it makes it a bit more fun, or at the very least, it really optimizes the process. So let me sum it up again for you one more time. After you've published your piece, give it a second to be indexed and settled. Then open Surfer's audit tool and enter your keyword. Check out the top five competitors based on their content score rankings. Pay attention to their content score and their domain strength, and only factor in the sites that are your direct competitors and show your user intent. Lastly, make the suggested changes you receive from the audit, whether that's adding more words, removing some characters from your title, or incorporating more images. Also keep in mind that the internet and SERPs in this case are always changing. Just because you wrote a high ranking piece in 2019 doesn't mean it'll stay that way always and forever. On the other hand, just because you wrote a piece of so-so content in 2019 doesn't mean that it'll be stuck in SEO purgatory forever either. So people, how are we feeling? I hope you're feeling empowered. I hope you're feeling a bit more at ease and I hope you're feeling stress-free. I'll see you in the next lesson. You know it. Happy surfing.